Chapter 1 Frame Analysis The reinforced concrete structures which we typically see in our daily life are actually made of the structural system comprising the floor slab, beam, columns, and footings. The assembly of such elements made up the skeleton frame systems of the entire structures in order to carry the loads and the weight of the materials sitting on the structures. This element, especially the beams and columns, are normally monolithically connected to each other in a three-dimensional manner, which is 3D. They act integrally to resist the vertical loads, which is made up of the permanent and variable actions, and also the lateral loads, which can be in the form of wind and seismic actions. However, the analysis of 3D frame is complicated. Instead of considering the stress to be distributed in the X and Y directions, we need to also consider the distribution of the stress in the Z directions. With that, it is normally simplified into 2D frames or subframe in order to simplify the analysis of the structures. And the analysis of the frame or the subframe are known as the frame analysis. Before we discuss the analysis of the frame, we need to aware of two main types of the frame which are the brace frame and the unbrace frame. Distinguishing the types of the frame for the analysis is important because the outcome of the analysis may vary significantly. The structure is distinguished based on the setup of the structural elements, especially the existence of the bracing and the shear wall. When there are bracing and the shear walls, the structure is considered as the brace frame. The lateral load will be taken by the bracing and the shear walls, so that the structural frame system made up of the columns and beams only need to carry the vertical actions. This is provided the bracing and the shear walls are properly designed. In the analysis of the brace frame, you may omit the wing load or the lateral load acting on the structures. However, for the unbrace frame, there are no designated elements to carry the horizontal load. In this case, the horizontal load will be resisted by the frame actions based on the rigidity of the connections between the column beams and slabs. Under such circumstances, the column will behave as a cantilever members and the rigidity of the joints between the columns and beams will help to improve the lateral resistance capability of the frame structures. Simply said, the embrace frame will need to carry the vertical and the lateral loads at the same time.